I'm guessing that you successfully installed Magic Lantern and know the basic functions. You're searching for a better workflow, how to work with MLV files. This is video for you. You're in luck. I've been using Magic Lantern for a couple of years, but now I'm confident that I found simple and pain-free workflow for Magic Lantern. I have 700D, so I will show the workflow for this camera, but it can be adapted to anything else. I will address three main issues that I had with this camera. 10 second limit, recording with sound, and editing MLV files, that's the big one. First off, on my 700D, I could only record for 10 seconds before the buffer was full and then the video stopped recording. It was because the camera is limited to writing data to about 40 megabits per second and recording RAW at the resolution I want exceeds that limit. I mean, you can make resolution smaller, that will work, but I want to have as uh, big resolution as possible. To solve this problem, I had to go to Magic Lantern website and download experimental build. Might be not as stable and sometimes buggy, but there's a build called 4K raw video recording. It does unlock the ability to record in 4K, but not on a 700D, <laughs> unfortunately. It unlocks the ability to record longer than 10 seconds at the resolution I want. It compresses the data loosely to be able to fit into 40 megabits per second limit. It compresses the raw files without losing any data. So, you may need to upgrade the firmware before installing newer builds. Uh, this is also the same build that allows you to record audio together with MLV files when you select audio recording. Now, you're able to record long raw video with audio. Next step is to edit these files. MLV stands for Magic Lantern Video and they have to be decoded into something else before you can edit them. I've tried many different programs for decoding. There are even some good ones that you have to pay for. The best one that I found is called MLV App and it's free and works on Windows. You drag all MLV files into the program and decide what to do with them. You can grade and color correct footage right away and transcode it into your favorite format. What I usually do is to leave all the options as is because I'm going to be grading later in another program anyway. In the codec, I choose Cinema DNG, Lossless, with DaVinci Resolve naming scheme. That way, DaVinci is not confused. And I also check export audio. This program is really powerful and you can customize whatever you want, down to the bare pattern if you really need to. After this step is done, you simply import files into DaVinci Resolve for editing. It recognizes the frames and the sound and it works as any other video format. If your editing suit does not recognize the DNG, then you can export in DNHHD or ProRes, like depending on what you like. For me, it's worth it. It's not much different from normal workflow, I just have to copy or transcode files with MLV app instead of drag and dropping them into my hard drive. Files are bigger in size, but you're also able to record in the correct resolution right away without adding the black bars on top and the bottom. Exposed correctly, like now I'm underexposed. <laughs> Bad example. So be careful also with highlights. 